Well, welcome back into Talking Pittsburgh. Join today for the Pittsburgh Senior Center on National Senior Center Month. <laughs> Okay, it's my best to Oprah, but it's not really like Oh, I, I, I didn't catch on, unless you're giving free gifts. And you get a car. Yeah, everybody. And you get a car. No, yeah. we don't have any cars to give Everybody out. can get a bagel. Oop. They come in from the Senior Center Month for our day-old bagels. Is that <laughs> our every bread. day, though? But that's every day, Well, right? the first day, it's only a day old, you know, but you come in by, <laughs> fri <laughs> by Friday, it's a couple days old, but you can still have it. I, isn't there like a trick to uh, like throw them in the microwave, put like put a wet paper towel on it, and I, come on, let's, let's. I didn't know that was such a trick, but yeah, that that's a good idea. <laughs> she's that's like, a well known. She's like I did not know that, but now I'm gonna try it at home. Um, oh wow, another yeah. senior center month uh, oh, coming uh, coming here, and yeah. you know, it, it's always interesting. Uh, I think for the conversations we've had over the years, you know, I'm always trying to come up with like. Hey, the senior, you know, you don't know it unless you're there. You don't know yeah. unless you, you know. And I, truly, I do believe that um, we have one of the most active, yeah. uh, and and I don't want to even use senior center because it's 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 older it's adults, fun, but it's a mix of it's everyone. A mix, yeah. And you really have yeah. changed the culture. So as you go into this this year, where are we? I told you, I'm like. State of the state of uh, the senior center. You just today. told me before we went online. Hey, it's been senior center. Yeah, today right. oh. is the uh, let me check ninth uh, of yeah. September. Okay. So it is go. You had yeah. nine days to think about this. I did. I did. <laughs> In nine seconds when you got here. Right. Um, the state of the senior center. Um, uh, yeah, better than ever. Right. I think that. You know, I think what we do well is we treat older adults as human beings, not older people. You know, and and that's. Our constant battle is moving uh, away from that stereotype of, oh, what's a senior center? You know, here's some of the things they do. And I think that, you know, I think we've really just embraced enjoying whoever walks through the door and trying to serve them where they're at. And age, age is irrelevant, really. Um, it's ability, it's state of mind. And, um, and I think, you know, pulling that all together and the way we celebrate Senior Center Month has always been so fun. And I think it really presents a different angle of, the way that people have fun and, you know, having, you know, the Red Hot Horn Dogs and, you know, serving beer and sandwiches and just creating an environment to have fun for any human being, no matter what age, well, 21, if you um, are <laughs> going to have a beer, but it just pulls a lot of people together. And I think the fun part about the Red Hot Horn Dogs is they have their own following. So we get a lot of younger folks and then we get a lot of, you know, older folks just, you know, it's more intergenerational. And um, I think that's always fun, kind of like the pancake breakfast, just just bringing community together. But, you know, overall, we've we've come really far. But when I look back sometimes at really old annual reports, some of that same stuff we're still doing, you know, the blood pressure and the euchre and the bridge. But then you just, you know, fast forward and then you just add to it as the times change with the pickleball and the Tai Chi and the um, all the exercise programs and the biking group and, you know, iPhone classes and all the stuff that you guys taught through Fact TV. Um, so we don't let go of anything. We just build. And that's pretty cool. And I think that's where the, the being active, mm -hmm. it, it comes in so many different forms. Right. Um, from, right. from just coming down and having a meal and, right. and hanging with people and, mm -hmm. and doing the social groups to the, to the physical activities, um, to the fun activities. Right. I mean, I think that, that summarizes in itself is it's active, but it's active in so many different capacities. Right. And, and then so you threw on a patio last year. And then and we got the like, beautiful patio. My goodness. And just more place to congregate. Um, you know, when you come down on a Tuesday morning and all those folks are just hanging out and socializing and having coffee, that's community building and that's, um, you know, something I think we're really proud of. Well, isn't that on the uh, Mandy and uh, Amy show? You know, coffee's always hot. It's, it's true. Always a warm something yeah. or another. Yeah, yeah, and, and always a hug. Uh, I mean, that, but that. It's true. Again, another way to summarize just a, a place to hang and, yeah. and do. So yeah, yeah. on that front, you kind of yeah. uh, crisscrossed that uh, Let's Celebrate National Senior Center Month. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you team up with the Friends group here. Yeah, and, who are amazing. Uh, yeah, they do. I they're mean, they've amazing. had some amazing, oh uh, that Broadfest. Uh, or that? The, I didn't even get down there in time to get I'm going to rewrite. We ran out. I, it's amazing. But I, I think, again, that just tells you where you're at. Like, I, agree. I I love those types of feelers. Like, yep. okay, how many people are really getting this? How many? Yeah. Dang. A lot. And it's fun, you know, and, and uh, yes, uh, a huge thank you to the friends who are amazing and support all of these extra events that 
that you know we wouldn't be able to obviously do in our budget and so that that really makes us too the support that we get from the friends and finally the staff your staff are oh, yeah. second to none i mean you know <laughs> the, you've not talked you've talked broadly here but yeah but it, the staff i yeah. your staff has almost been the same since i've even started uh and i'm coming up on 15 years yeah uh, you've grown we've got um, some we've got some history for sure which um, I, but it says something right I'm an easy boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what they're saying, no. but um... you know, I hope that I, I've chosen people that the the it's in their heart. What they do is in their heart. It comes from their heart. You can you can teach people things, but you can't teach them compassion and joy and kindness and empathy. And um, I think that you pull those people in that have that internally, and then everything kind of grows from there. And I feel I feel really lucky, and I love when we come together for these bigger events to just watch that that magic happen of everybody laughing and dancing and supporting older adults and yeah it's it it's a good it's a good team no it doubt. is and i i do want to toss in the volunteers as well because yeah. uh, not only do you have second and on staff you have amazing volunteers that right? are helping you out on so many different fronts i know i know just i mean obviously the day-to-day -day with the kitchen and the driving and the medical rides and you know, but then all of these group facilitators um, that are running these programs, you know, Janice doing um, the Lunch and Learns and Linda doing the Active Women group and Jim doing the men's group and then the singers have a leader and ukulele, I, you know, they just run themselves up here. I, you probably, you know, they, they got the videotape, they're learning songs, they're going out, they're entertaining. So, so just so many self-led groups. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Just saying. You're just saying. missing. If you haven't been down there, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new motto for yeah, this year. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, no, you got to get down there. Uh, yeah. That event uh, that uh, Jill was referring to, National Senior Center Month, is on Thursday, September 19th. Yep. Uh, it, the doors are open to everybody. Food, yeah, and food starts at 5, band starts at 6, um, and then wrap it up according to our sound permit at 8. But who knows? <laughs> according to my <laughs> watch, uh, City Hall opens up at 8, so I'll be there at 8 a.m. Uh, there we go. Uh, at waiting for the band uh, now it's gonna yeah. be a lot of fun hoping for good weather and yeah, um, for sure. we're gonna we're gonna celebrate uh another year and yep. man a lot of great stuff happening yeah, down thank there thank you all right really hard turn here um you we i <laughs> asked you what do you want to talk about and you said jeremy save the date because your choice who will speak for who you who will speak for you and i reminded jeremy we talked about this in april during national health care month um filling out your powers of attorney for health care, which neither of us have done since we discussed it. And I know I made a promise and then I didn't keep it because, you know, I am Catholic, so I have to just confess well, right you away. Made, uh, you made a promise for me and I don't know what to do with that I made promise a promise yet. for you that you should be doing this and everybody should be doing this because who is going to speak for you? Your wife, if she, you know, but is she going to speak for you in terms of what you want if something happens and you can't speak for yourself? And so... Um, luckily, through Janice's Lunch and Learn, UW um, Health came out and talked about POAs and filling those out. So they're coming back in October, and they're going to be here to help you fill that out, make it really personalized, um, because you do have to have two witnesses, and they can't be blood relative. Um, so they'll be there as well to sign off on that. So come on down, half-hour appointment, free. All the paperwork is there. Get her done. Nick, you're listening, too. Yeah, uh, Nick uh, behind the scenes here, Nick behind uh, the, scenes. the guy who should be on camera right now. Uh, you know, we both are like, oh, fine, Jill, fine. But... I'm going to put myself in a slot because I've been talking about it too much. And yeah, you may have to sign us up, too. I think I might. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, if you yeah. want to do that, uh, remind the folks again what day that is. Um, October 1st and 8th, 930 to 2.30, um, half hour time slots. You can call us. You can register online. Um, if we get too many, they've got an overflow date in the 23rd. So I know the whole city of La Crosse one time like did this huge push to get everybody to have a POA. It's so important. And it's so it's such a gift to your family to say this is what they told me they wanted. Absolutely. So, yeah. All right, Jill. Well, there you go. There, that's that's your update. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, great, great job to, to you and the staff down there. Oh, everything thank you're you. doing. Um, another year in the books as far as National Senior Center Month goes. We still got a couple of months left here. Some great activities coming oh, yeah. up. So, uh, for sure. Falls a fun time in uh, in Fitch, well, in Wisconsin in general. It but is. Yeah. We have some. I, again, yeah. I think the patio right now is my favorite time of year. Yeah. Because uh, it's just a, just enough warm, just enough cool, yep. and you get to watch the leaves change. Yep. Come on down, um, have your lunch out there, and anybody else too. All right, Jill, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks for all you guys do.